Great Britain will receive. Ladies, shake hands with them. So Sweden there won the toss and deferred, and Phoebe Schechter there signaled to the officials that they wanted the, the ball to be in the hands of GB's offence to begin with, so it will be the GB offence who take the field first at the start of this one, Carl. Yeah, I certainly could see uh, that's an interesting decision by Sweden early, isn't it, to defer? I wonder what they want to bring their defence out and make a statement early on, try and stop this GB Lions attack. Uh, so we'll have to see how that plays out and whether that plays into Great Britain's advantage or theirs. I mean, you would like to get off to a good start, wouldn't you, if you GB offence? But then again, you're the home nation, there's a lot of nerves, you know, you're coming out and you, maybe you do put your defence on the field. So not a bad call by the Swedes. Let's see how it plays out. Let's see what Green and that offence dial up here, to, if they can convert. And it's Mata who takes the handoff. She's got a little seam over the right-hand side and she's got first down yardage, turns the corner, stays inbound and gets all the way to the Sweden 40-yard line where it'll be Great Britain first down. What a beautiful little run by Ruth. Mata, good job. She comes, not only does she get the first down, but she's into Swedish territory and that was some nice blocking up front. Good job by the fullback. And uh, we are, we are marching. Trips to the top of your screen for the first time. Third and 12, Green looks this time to her right, and that is completed. Threaded the eye of the needle there, and Emma Taylor is the recipient from the Leeds Chargers, and she gets up bouncing. It's going to be close to a first down, but it's not quite enough, and there's no reason to believe. That's a great grabbing traffic. Great grab. Will Green keep again, or does Matter get it? This time it's Matter, and she's in trouble, and she's snagged, and that's going to be turnover on downs. And Sweden, although they get the ball for their first possession, very close to their own goal line, they'll be pleased with the fact that they've managed to hold the red-shirted Lions out of the end zone. So, Johansson going to the air this time, flings one out to the flats, and it's caught by that same player who had the big run, and she's on her feet, up to the 40, to the 45, to midfield, and she could go all the way at the 30, the 25, the 20, the 10, the 5, and from end zone to end zone, touchdown Sweden, Karen Ullen. Let's see, it's the same player, Ullen, who's responsible for the extra point duties, it's a bobbled snap, and now they're in trouble, and sacked by the one and only Phoebe Schechter, who comes steaming through, taking down Johansson. So it remains Sweden 6, Great Britain 0. Watch the zip on the board. A sidearm Bernie Kosar type throw from back in the 80s. And uh, she manages to make number 13 miss initially, who's uh, Kelly like Parnell. Parnell. And, and from that point onwards, there is just no catching her as much as those three trailing defenders might. Ullen has the speed to take it all the way, close to 90 yards for the opening score of the game. The Swedes to go three and out once again. Johansson drops back again, got plenty of time, zips that ball out, and it is caught. And it's caught in acres of space, and that's going to be first down territory and more close to the 40 yard line. Bumped out of bounds, and in comes that late flag, and that is going to be a late hit, unnecessary roughness, personal foul call, you, what it, you will. Yeah, that's such a shame. Um, a and a headstrom on that, and that was a design screen pass. So, you, you, when you ever you see those defensive linemen running in space like that and just have a clear run at the quarterback, you know, screen, screen, screen. You want them to kind of turn around and go and recognize that and chase the runner down. After the play was over, in space. personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 12, 15-yard penalty added to the end of the run. First down. It's again to the top of your screen. And there's uh, coming down, they've got plenty of time. And that one is picked off. And it is picked off by Phoebe Schechter. We're going to call her name quite a lot. We have done already. And I'm sure we will continue to shortly. She is a superstar. We told you for the game there was a lot of noise about her. And this is why. She makes plays when it counts. And you can see here, she drops back, she's smart, drops back into her zone, recognizes the play quickly, knows that there's a crossing, there's going to be a, a crossing receiver behind her, gets depth and manages to be in the right position to make the play. And that's the sort of key play that we need, and that's from the captain of this team. Well done, Phoebe. And actually, if you look at that, the receiver had actually beaten Phoebe. And so you have to ask Johansson, is that ball slightly behind a receiver to enable Phoebe to turn around and make that grab? And it was a great hands grab. It's a daft thing to say, a hands grab. But a lot of the time, the ball comes into bodies of DBs and safeties, and they kind of catch it on their chest. But that one was a real receiver-type grab as Matter gets things going. And she's got a big hole out to the left. And she's at the 50, she's at the 40, she steps inside and gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. No flags and a big turn of momentum in this one. Look who's punting again, it's the danger player. It's Karen Ullen who's back there to punt for the Swedes and she could easily tuck this ball and sneak out those 
three yards, but no, the ball goes off her boot. It's a line drive and it's fielded by the danger player for the Brits, Matter, who goes out to the 50, to the 40, to the 30. She's got a little bit of room. She cuts back at the 25, still strong on her legs. Inside the 20, 59 seconds left in the second period and the Brits are in business inside the 20. 14 seconds left in this first half here in Leeds in the 2019 IFAF Women's European Championships as Green surveys the field. Another low snap, which doesn't help. She has to put her head down. She goes to the corner, and that one's picked off at the 10-yard line, and that's going to snuff out any hope as Phoebe Schechter battles and tries to strip the ball off the defender. Third and five, another important play here, particularly as they're only on their own 25-yard line. Sweden showing blitz again. Here it comes, and Mata is going to get a gap because of that blitz, and she's on her feet at the 40. She's at the 50, the 40 the 30 she's still on her feet at the 20 the 15 the 10 the 5 touchdown britain and just like that we are all tied up go on ruth matter what about that can you see any flags not from where i am i, I can't see any from where i'm sitting from my position in the commentary booth so that is going to be and here we go and i say cross the blocks here because they miss a first time and then once it gets into space one person to beat and then she's gone, gone. and no one's going to catch her there and she's uh, got that great sprinting form they they're trying to catch her but they're not going to and that ties up this game and who has the kicking responsibilities it is nancy stone oh it's a bad snap again but she's got a chance and it is up but it hasn't got the legs it's skewed off to the left as well it may well have even been blocked again not a great snap but it means that we are all tied up here on monday evening here in leeds great britain six sweden six and it's all to play for is happy to run we know karen Ullen can run but let's see whether or not alan it is, it is going to put down and she's put a foot through it and it's just not got the distance not far away maybe four or five yards short on that one and that means that britain hold strong wide to the left um, and at the moment, other than Ruth Matter, that seems to be the offence. Oh, this one. Oh, it's a reverse. And they just managed to get the reverse off. And the, the cameraman, unfortunately, has missed that one. But that's a hold there on the edge, surely. Um, as she trundles down the sideline, she's pushed out at the 10. But I'm looking to see if we can see any flags. But I definitely saw a hold on the sideline there. But having said that, there don't appear to be any flags whatsoever. And that one appears to... Gonna, appears to be a good play let's have a look again yeah you'll see rachel moody bust through here and think ah, i've got it but that handoff just gets away and everyone freezes because they think rachel's made the tackle and off goes the runner number 82 it, there is a hold there on the edge um, but it's not called and that is a disastrous play for gb lions what could have been uh, what could have been a really good tackle in the backfield turns into a huge game for the swedes so here we go then Field goal time. She will look like she was going to get it on that last one. This time it's up. Is it straight enough? It is looking like it is good. And the touchdown scorer adds three more points to her total personal tally and adds three more points to her country's tally to take the score to GB6. Sweden 9 with six minutes and change remaining in this fourth quarter. So now... That means the Swedes are now thinking, oh, hello, we can't just key on Matter, although they need to on this player. She bounces back to the right, and she tries to use that speed to get around the edge, and she does get around the edge, and that could be a horse collar tackle. Um, but there's nothing, nothing thrown again. Sydney Green's heart must be pounding. Let's see. Oh, it's an awful snap, and this time it's Green, and she's got space at the middle, and she's got a first down. She's to the one-yard line. What another gutsy play. Everybody keying on Matter. Checked her in there. Look at the snap. I know, the terrible snap, but she picks it up and she's smart enough and she says, All right, I'm going to go over the top. But look, look where that and football gets, is. I know, one, one, one yard line with less than a minute left. Checked her out, and you might expect that Antoinette's going to be in there to block. And this time, Phoebe's looking and she's still looking. Not sorry, Phoebe. It's, oh, she's picked it. And that's an interception. What a disaster for the Brits. And that is picked by the Swedes, and that one will be done. Wow.